Set in the heart of Brooklyn, New York, Boris Fishman's comedic masterpiece A Replacement Life, 2014, delves into the intriguing life of Slava Gelman, an unassuming journalist entangled in a web of deceit. Tasked with fabricating Holocaust restitution claims for elderly Russian Jews, Slava's journey begins with his own grandfather, Yevgeny Gelman, who orchestrates a complex ruse to secure compensation from the German government and elevate Slava's literary aspirations. Amidst Slava's desire to shed his Jewish immigrant identity and embrace an all-American persona lies his clandestine occupation, ironically unveiling the transformative power of storytelling. Fishman's narrative skillfully navigates the intricacies of intergenerational dynamics within Jewish families, balancing the preservation of heritage with aspirations for a brighter future. As the story unfolds, Slava reluctantly agrees to aid his grandfather's scheme following the sudden loss of his grandmother, spurred by a delayed restitution notice regarding her parents' tragic fate in the Minsk ghetto during World War II. Yevgeny contends that Germany's belated notification was a calculated ploy, anticipating her demise before claiming eligibility. However, the German conference questions Yevgeny's authenticity, lacking evidence of his presence in the ghetto. Initially hesitant, Slava eventually embraces the task, recognizing the opportunity to unravel his grandmother's enigmatic past. Despite her reticence to discuss her wartime experiences, Slava's quest for understanding leads him to unearth hidden truths, reshaping his perception of both his family's history and his own identity. Slava resolves to respond to the German government, providing evidence to support Yevgeny's claimed internment, carefully omitting the fact that it was his grandmother who endured life in the ghetto. Delving into chronicling his grandmother's story, Slava's journey takes him across Brooklyn, where he encounters numerous fellow Russian Jews. Among them is Israel Abramson, living in solitude and poverty following the loss of his wife and abandonment by his son, who opted to join an Orthodox Jewish community overseas. Israel's plight, echoed by others, underscores the dire need for community and basic necessities among immigrants. Driven by empathy, Slava proceeds to fabricate numerous restitution claims on behalf of elderly Jews in New York. However, his actions draw the attention of Otto Barber from the Conference on Jewish Material Claims against Germany. Otto suspects Slava's involvement in forging letters recently received by the conference and presents him with a choice. Disclose the identities of those behind the falsified accounts or jeopardize the chances of legitimate applicants. In a tense exchange, Slava argues for fairness, insisting that all Jewish survivors deserve recognition and compensation for their wartime suffering, regardless of their specific circumstances. Otto, constrained by the program's guidelines, refuses Slava's proposition, prompting accusations of moral compromise. Slava confronts Otto's manipulative tactics, highlighting the ethical implications of his offer to conceal forgery in exchange for information. Ultimately, Slava divulges the fabrication of Yevgeny's letter to shield the innocent beneficiaries of his assistance. Through this ordeal, he comes to appreciate the significance of Jewish solidarity and the obligation to advocate for the older generation of Jewish immigrants who endured immense hardship to reach the shores of the United States. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.